Hello from a late October day. I'm sitting here by the Baltic Sea in the sand dunes. And today I would like to share with you an article I wrote called How to Experience Transcendent Happiness, Ecstasy, and Creation. I think it will be a really interesting topic that I hope you'll enjoy and get something useful out of. People strive for happiness and ecstasy in life because they unconsciously want to experience their own real identity and the source of all creation. Without realizing it, they're seeking transcendent joy, bliss, and ecstasy. Bliss, joy, and ecstasy that are unchanging and without end. Most people seek happiness, fulfillment, and joy in possessions, relationships, experiences, chemicals, their physical body, or knowledge. They never even consider that happiness beyond their wildest dreams is already present and accessible without acquiring anything that ecstasy is closer than their own breathing. If happiness, fulfillment, joy, and ecstasy are not a result of the acquisition of possessions or knowledge and are not found in relationships, experiences, the body, or chemicals, then where are they found? They're found in the very fabric of creation. They're experienced when we are still enough, silent enough, and empty enough. When you are able to feel the infinite energy that creates all that is tangible and intangible, you might describe it as bliss beyond bliss, peace beyond peace, ecstasy beyond ecstasy. When dissolved completely into the infinite sea of consciousness or emptiness, the experience has attributes that are impossible to describe in any language or to the intellect. Words that seem to apply barely come close to these transcendent feelings. But we can use terms like bliss, ecstasy, enthusiasm, embracing tranquility and peace to attempt to describe the experience. When we experience dissolving into this infinite sea of consciousness until the me is gone, we realize that all creation is a manifestation of transcendent ecstasy. The very act of creation is ecstatic. When you dissolve into the ecstasy of creation, you will come to the point of feeling overwhelmed. The ego, the me, screams that you will die if you continue dissolving. Do it anyway. There is no limit to the ecstasy that can be experienced. It is literally infinite, and it's an attribute of your true identity. We dissolve into what we are and have always been. Nothing else matters. Nothing else is real. What does it take to experience this transcendent happiness and ecstasy? You must pay the ultimate price for this. It requires total and complete surrender of the sum total of everything you think you are, everything you imagine you possess. You must let go of the idea that you are an individual personality with a physical body, a separate spirit, a mind of your own with a history and a unique set of traits. You must give up all knowledge and ignorance, all joys and sorrows, all pleasure and pain, all that you desire and avoid, all that you love and despise. You must willingly dissolve into the infinite sea of consciousness 
until you are the infinite sea rather than a drop. This is the price required. Nothing less will suffice. When you do this, you'll realize that you've always been this infinite sea of consciousness, this infinite emptiness. You'll experience the true self, pure, pristine, untouched awareness. You'll experience the infinite transcendent happiness, joy, peace, love, compassion and ecstasy that are woven into the fabric of all creation, that are the fabric of all creation, that are the attributes of infinite, immortal consciousness. This is where and how transcendent ecstasy and happiness are experienced. To the ego, the me, it seems an impossible price to pay. That's why so few ever really experience this and why most human beings seek happiness, ecstasy, fulfillment, joy, and peace in possessions, knowledge, religion, philosophy, and human experiences. It feels safer and easier, but it will never ever be as fulfilling, real, or lasting as the real and transcendent at attributes of the true self, the infinite sea of awareness. That's why the search and striving for happiness and fulfillment are a never-ending labor for most people in this world. But you cannot buy or accumulate your way to transcendent happiness. You can't pray or study your way to transcendent joy. You can't understand your way to transcendent ecstasy. There is only one way to experience the true self. And this I have just described for you. I've posted a number of practices and meditations at www.lifesanswers.org that will help you experience this surrender and dissolution into the infinite sea of awareness. Feel free to make use of them. You're also welcome to contact me for support through the website if you wish. For now, from this sunny day at a Baltic Sea beach, take good care, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.